Mama keep her eyes on the prize. Mama don't cry. Wipe them tears from your eyes. Loving you, mama, no lie. Mama don't cry. Wipe them tears from your eyes. Mama keep her eyes on the prize. Oh, mama don't cry. Wipe them tears from your eyes. Loving you, mama, no lie. Mama don't cry. Wipe them tears from your eyes. Mama keep her eyes on the prize. Mama don't cry. Wipe them tears from your eyes. Loving you, mama, no lie. Mama don't cry. Wipe them tears from your eyes. Mama keep her eyes on the prize. All right, today, folks, we're going to be talking about the tea industry. We're going to be talking about Unilever. We're going to be talking about oh, the tea that you may drink every day, believe it or not, Starbucks and the like. This is what our sisters in Kenya are going through right this moment. So give me a moment. I'm going to set it all up, and you are going to be reading a little bit more about it in um, the March edition as well. I'll be right back, folks. On their managers as well, was owned for decades by companies. Tom, this report and I, it does contain distress scenes. The T group and sexual exploitation. To them and all with a similar story. It's torture. He wants to sleep with you, then you get a job. When you say no, he forces himself on you, wanting to touch you. It reached a point that I thought of suicide. We sent an undercover reporter to pose as a worker. We are calling her Katie. It was time for the general public to know what exactly happens in these companies. She goes for a job interview with a notorious manager, John Chebochok. He's in charge of hundreds of workers on plantations owned by Scottish firm James Finlay and Company. He tells her to follow him into a hotel room where he puts pressure on her to have sex with him. Members of the production team were stationed nearby and made a phone call to help her get out. I was so scared and so shocked. It must be re really difficult for the women. James Winley and company says it immediately suspended John Chebochok and that it has reported him to Kenyan police. John Chebochok did not respond. The company has also launched its own investigation into whether its Kenyan operation has an endemic problem with sexual violence. The company supplies Starbucks and supermarket Sainsbury's and Tesco. Sensbury says these horrific allegations have no place in its supply chain. Tesco supermarket says it's taking the claims extremely did not provide a response. Also, Unilever, where PG tips are abused. She was pressured for sex by the divisional manager and her direct supervisor. Unilever has known about this issue for more than a decade. In 2011, a report found sexual exploitation was prevalent in Unilever's plantations. 
The company introduced a zero tolerance policy and other measures, but little appears to have changed. Unilever says it's deeply shocked and saddened by our allegations. While we were secretly filming, Unilever sold its tea operation in Kenya. The new owner, Lipton Teas and Infusions, says it has suspended the managers named in our investigation and has launched an independent inquiry. Tom Odula, BBC News. D Two W. Are you kidding? Ha. Ha. All right, folks. So I'm going to try to pull up um, another right, video folks. as well. This is a beautiful, honorable queen. I'm going to try to pull it up and play that for you, but you know that. Uh, StreamYard is not a great, <laughs> not a great streaming uh, program, but just give me one moment and then we will get to it. Okay, so give me one moment. I'll be right back. I have to request for statement of the estates in Kericho County. Honorable Speaker, that's one to standing order. That the estates in Lico County have deplorable working and living conditions and have been victims of sexual harassment and acts at the hands of men. Process. These vulnerable female workers at the estates with no other sources of income have no choice but to have male providers. Sex is reported is with secure better housing and the car, which is will not be deducted. It appears as if all the supervisors are male, and hence no consideration of female parity. Female workers who refuse sexual advances from male supervisors pay a high price and are given too much work or are located to work in lonely and dangerous blocking zones. You already know they don't like this type of teaching. Anyway, so yeah, 
So we're going to be talking about the tea industry in Kenya and in other countries as well. We're going to be talking about why uh, they are leaving, why they are being uh, made to leave Kenya and other countries as well, other provinces and so forth. But every time you drink your tea, even your coffee, you must ask, what are the conditions by which the, um, the workers have to live? It is atrocious, it is inhumane, especially for the women. And they are paid little to nothing. But I'm going to drop um, a few, I'm gonna drop a few articles for the public just so you can see what's going on and what the women have to do in order to even work on, I call them, plantations. But that's it. That's all you all just wanted you to know what we're working on today. Love you. And thank you so very, very much for always tuning in. Bye family.